How do you see things unfolding in Afghanistan? Well, that's the most difficult question you asked me. Uh, unfortunately, right now we do not have the answer because no one has the answer. You see what the, uh, uh, let me just say, the biggest mistake made by the Americans was that they kept on trying to find a military solution in Afghanistan when there was not one. They kept uh, uh, doing the same thing over and over and over again and thought they would get a different result. Because Afghanistan has a history and, you know, they, they just cannot be dictated from outside. They do not accept outside uh, power intervention. They do, they do not find, they do not like to be controlled from powers from outside. That's the history. And so even when countries have conquered Afghanistan like the British did in the 19th century and then the uh, Russians invaded, uh, Soviets invaded Afghanistan in the 20th century, you can invade in Afghanistan but to keep, when you st stay there it is very difficult to control the country because they are very independent minded people. So this war, on t uh, this war in Afghanistan went on too long. It has created deep divisions in the Afghan society. When a war goes on for that long, when on both sides people have died, families have suffered, to bring them back together is not very easy. It takes time. And now what you're seeing in Afghanistan is that the moment the Americans decided there was no military solution, they gave a date of exit. And the moment they gave a date of exit, the, the Taliban, who were the who were opposing the Americans considered that as a victory. Now when they think it's, they won the war, it's very difficult to make them, from Pakistan point of view, to make them then uh, come to some sort of a political settlement becomes very difficult. One, because if the war went on too long, there are deep divisions. Secondly, once they feel they won the war, it's very difficult to make them now get back together. And so the worrying thing for Pakistan is that if Afghanistan has a civil war there, just like it had civil war after the Soviets left in 1989, then the consequences will be after Afghanistan, the country that will suffer the most is going to be Pakistan. Because, you know, we have a long border with Afghanistan. Taliban is basically a Pashtun uh, movement and there are more Pashtuns in Pakistan than, than, than Afghanistan. Half the Afghanistan population is Pashtun. So the worry here is that we will be deeply affected by if there is a civil war. So therefore, we want there to be a political settlement at all costs. So before uh, concluding this session, I would like to inform uh, the media uh, the Prime Minister has written a special congratulatory letter to Prime Minister, uh, to President Xi on uh, CPC's 100 years, 100 years anniversary. Also, Prime Minister has written uh, um, an op-ed that will appear in Chinese media, I believe this, uh, this opinion, week, piece. opinion piece. And also, uh, keeping in view the close relationship and the kind of the, the way CPAC is going, we will interact with Chinese media more regularly and we will keep inviting friends from Beijing, Shanghai and also from here and thank you very much for being part of this session. Thank you. Thank you.